Good morning, everyone. Today, we are taking Ruby to the pulmonologist. By we, I mean me. Uh, Lee is actually at home with Ander. Um, Ruby is back there. You really can't see her. Um, but I dressed her super cute today because, you know, it's so rare that we get to go out. So when we do go out, I get dressed, she gets dressed, and um, it's really fun. It's fun having a girl. But before we go, um, my tank is almost empty, so I'm going to go ahead and fill up. I've got some coffee so that I don't stop at Starbucks because whenever I go out, I always want to stop somewhere. I also brought breakfast, so I'm eating. We're all good to go. So we are here in the pulmonologist's office. She's all hooked up. We're just kind of waiting for the doctor to come in. Um, so yeah, hopefully good news. This is what we like to see. So this is our monitor right here. And they're comparing it to the one here at the doctor's office. Looking pretty good. Mm, boobs. She is snoozing. Maybe those sweet cheeks. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> I'm a little out of breath. Came all the way from there and got Miss, Miss Pris settled and stuff. But um, that appointment went really well. Um, we were there for like two and a half hours. It was really sorry, something on my screen. Um, it was really, really thorough. I loved her pulmonologist. Like the entire staff was really great. So. You know, it always puts your mind at ease whenever, um, you know, it's, people are just friendly and nice <laughs> whenever you go to scary doctor's appointments for your, uh, your baby. Not that this one was really even scary. It was like a checkup, um, on our lungs and stuff. But a couple of updates. The pulmonologist, uh, his name is Dr. Horseman. He said that if she didn't have a cannula in her nose, he would think she was just a normal few week old baby which adjusted she is she's technically three months old so um that was really good to hear so yeah um now the plan with oxygen is that we're going to take her off of uh some meds that she's been on called diuretics they've been helping her to breathe and um just kind of helping her overall so we're going to take those off see how she does over the weekend and then on Monday or Tuesday I'm going to get in touch with them again and let them know what our oxygen saturations look like so um that's that monitor right there I'll be watching pretty closely to um to see how she does so if she does well with that then we're going to start room air trials at home where we turn her off of the oxygen I really didn't expect to walk away today having no oxygen whatsoever so I'm going to count this as a win. We're kind of like ticking off the things that we can get rid of, which is exciting because I'm, I'm so thankful that she's here and she's okay, but I'm just so ready to have a normal baby experience, you know, like I, I'm ready to just strap her on and go for a walk or like, you know, just pick her up and bring her somewhere without having to like you know, get the tubes, get the wires, get the monitor, turn the monitor off because it's beeping because you're moving her and all the things. But, um, again, I'm so thankful that, you know, that we, that we live in an age where, you know, she, she survived, you know, like if we, if this was any other time, then, you know, it'd be a whole different story. You know, I would have had to bury a baby. So I'm, I'm really thankful. It is hard, but it's not so hard that we can't do it, you know. Um, God is good. God's been really good to us. And that guy's just watching me cry. <laughs> One more thing. Um, whew. <laughs> 
Uh, so today's actually a full day of doctor's appointments. We are now going to her pediatrician for her three month checkup. Um, and she's getting an RSV vaccine, which is another cool thing about living in this day and age is that there is an RSV vaccine and it's something that can just help protect her um, from all the craziness out there. So all good things. Let's go. So we just finished up at the pediatrician, all is well, she got her little shot, that was really sad, but um, you know, she, she needs it. Baton Rouge traffic, might be a second before we get home. We are home now, we had a long day with doctor's appointments, this light is terrible, there we go. Um, so I just wanted to quickly show you our setup here in our bedroom, and let me preface this with one of my biggest insecurities is the fact that I'm not a naturally like neat and clean person. I'm not the person that wakes up with the sunshine and makes my bed and is ready to greet the day like Cinderella. I'm not naturally like that. I want to be in my heart of hearts. I really do. But um, I'm going to show you our setup, but it's, it's a real life setup, okay? Alright, so we just got home, so really hard to see but Ruby's in there there she is um so our traveling setup we have our oxygen tank we have monitor which is upside down um so I just need to connect her oxygen instead of to the tank to this which is a machine that creates um pure oxygen just from the oxygen in the air so I've got to do that and then um her monitor is actually good um, this is her bassinet, pump, basket of baby things, disinfectant wipes because she's a baby, got disinfect things, and then this is where we spend most of our time, um, in our, our big bed. <laughs> Poor Lee ends up, like, over there in that little corner, bless his heart. Um, but the girls kind of took over. Ander has so graciously given Ruby his ball. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. Did you give her your ball? It's so nice. Okay, come see bud. Yeah, he always checks in there for her. Who is that? <laughs> it's a ball. Who else is that? It's a ball. We love you, baby. We love you, baby. Aww. So sweet. We are settling in for the night. Ruby has got her pacifier. <laughs> she just had a big bottle. So she's happy. Um, she got a diaper, so her tummy's probably feeling okay. Oh, oh, what are we doing? We lost the pacifier. Okay, one second. Thank you for watching this. Um, I've always kind of wanted to you know, kind of document our days and, you know, do something like that. Um, whenever I was a kid, I had this camcorder, um, cam recorder thing with these itty bitty VHS tapes. And um, I recorded so much stuff, just random stuff. So I've always kind of enjoyed doing stuff like this and posting about um, family memories and stuff. And I know how much I love looking back on photos and videos and stuff of whenever I was little so you know maybe one day Ruby and Ander will want to look back on little videos like this um but yeah if you've hung in there this long thank you for watching and um let me know if you want me to do more stuff like this because um you know I enjoy it um love you all